Mm-hmm. Ask me, do I feel bad for him? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Um, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Okay. Uh, in case y'all didn't know it, in case you thought it couldn't get any stupider, uh, Donald Trump supporters um have been hospitalized. A lot of them uh for standing out in the cold after a late night Trump rally at an airport in Omaha, Nebraska. A large portion of the crowd estimated to be in the thousands remained at the site waiting on buses hours after the Trump plane had departed, according to reporters on the scene. Outside temperatures were about freezing at that point. The problem was blamed on limited traffic flow on two lane roads that led to the site of the rally. The Washington Post reported that Trump supporters were stuck after the president spoke at Obama's, I mean, o- <laughs> Omaha's. <laughs> I said, oh, never mind. Omaha's Epley Airfield. It said many elderly supporters of Trump were among those stranded. It just be fitting, too. Omaha police said in a written statement that the first responders dealt with 30 people with medical reasons. Although, I mean, all throughout the day, and seven were sent to the hospital. Police monitoring sites on social media reported that some people suffered adverse effects from temperatures hovering around 30 degrees as they waited for shuttle buses or tried to walk to their cars for more than two miles away. Because y'all was hyped up when y'all was gone, huh? Y'all was going down there to get y'all race on. <laughs> get your race call on. And then your ass got stuck in the process. Oh, my God. That's so crazy. Many people underestimated the distance from the event back to the parking lot on foot. No, they didn't. They was running on hatred. That was their adrenaline. The hatred that they were running on. Police said 40 buses were used to shuttle 25,000 people over a 10 hour period starting at 10 a.m. to the event site, although an undisclosed number left before the rally ended. Okay. That is so crazy. Uh, Trump Deputy National Press Secretary Samantha Zager said in a statement that the 40-minute shuffle buses and the event deployed was twice the number usually deployed at Trump campaign, but the local road closures and resulting in congestion that caused the delays. That's what, I mean, they don't get it. At the guest departure location, we had tents, heaters, generations, hot cocoa, the hand and hand warmers available for the guests. We always strive to provide the best guest experience and accommodations at our events, and we care about their safety. And I know you do. All right. Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden on Wednesday used the image of Omaha supporters left in the cold after they rallied to criticize Trump's handling of the coronavirus. It's just an image that captured President Trump's whole approach to this crisis, he said. It's all about him making an appearance. Trump was in Omaha because it shares a media market with the uh with a lot of Iowa um where the president appears to be trailing by despite winning the state in twenty sixteen by almost nineteen points. Also Nebraska splits its electoral votes by congressional district. Maine does too, but every other state is winner takes all. And the second congressional district in Douglas County that is polling strongly for Biden, potentially giving the Democrat its one electoral vote. As it did for who? Obama in 2008. Um, it doesn't really look like 
you know, this guy just came in from the show. I'm talking about, um, what's that lady called? Him? Sloppy Joe, Jim Crow. Uh, it, it, you know, it, it's not, it's not likely that, you know, Joe Biden shouldn't win this. However, <laughs> y'all that remember Bush or Gore, yeah, was it Bush Gore? The first go around, which was solely, totally pathetic. That was the first time I saw the game. When we had to wait three or four months before the president was announced. And then we knew they cheated. And then Gore let them cheat. That was disgusting. So, with that being said, uh, Donald Trump supporters at this point are a cult. They are not what you consider uh, uh, supporters. I just call them a, a rabid base, a racist troll. That's all they are. I mean, they're just racist. There's, there's no way around it. <laughs> no way around it. And some of these fools had the nerve to stand out in the cold, stranded, because they underestimated how far they had to go back running on hatred. Y'all, leave your comments below and tell me what you think about this craziness. Okay, see you in the next one.